You've been doing this how long, John? 35, 40 years. And you know what you're looking for with this stuff, and you've never found one of those. My whole that, career, I haven't found one of these. That's how rare that thing is. Yep. And so the value on that, the estimation. Martin Man. Martin Man. Treasures. Hey guys, welcome into the channel. My name is Troy. I'm a reseller in Montana. I go to garage sales and estate sales, thrift stores. I find stuff and I sell it online, mostly on eBay. And today, a little bit of a combo platter, I guess. We're first going to take a look at what I sold. Uh, this is mostly on Friday. Some of it like overnight on Thursday into about midday on Friday. And some really nice sales in there. Things that you want to keep an eye out for when you're out sourcing and then we're going to tack on the end of the video something that actually happened today it's saturday as i'm recording this went to a couple of sales and uh a, a reseller in town john he's been doing this for more than three decades i know that's longer than even commonwealth picker john knows his stuff he's a really he's probably the best picker in town i i would i would think he and, and when his brother goes with him and you see them both at a sale you, you better look quick because it's going to go. They're very, very good, but they're also very cool guys. And I've been getting to know John a little bit better. We talked on it a previous video about, you know what, you can get along with other resellers and that's going to benefit you in multiple ways. And today I met up with John at one particular sale. I got there before him and snagged some things that I think he would have grabbed uh, because he grabbed a few of the things that I left behind uh, in that same sort of category. Uh, and we'll get to that video down the road, the, the, the full video of that particular sale. But while we were there, somebody told him, hey, this estate sale just popped up as a listing. You might want to go down there. They have stuff that you would like. And so he told me about it and said, hey, let's head on down there uh, when, when, when we're done. Because I was checking out right after he was. And he said, hey, meet me down there. And so I've been getting little tips here and there from John. He's been very kind to teach me things as, uh, as we run across each other at these sales. And so he got there, I don't know, five minutes before I did, and he scored something incredible. And, and we're going to, for the first time on film, really have a uh, conversation with John here on this channel. He's going to show you what he found. He spent in single digits. You can, it's on what, well, there it is. It's $5. I'll spoil it. Five bucks is what he paid you won't believe what the thing is worth. Even I would have picked it up, but he knew exactly what he was getting. He beat me to that sale, but I'm glad that he got it. And at that sale, he actually handed me a couple of things and said, hey, I know this is the sort of thing you like, so nobody else gets it. Here, take it. I know you you would like this. And you know nothing compared to what he found, but I, I appreciate it. And he's been really kind, like I said, to teach me as we go. And so I asked him, hey, can I put you on the video and you teach my viewers about this item that you found? And he graciously said yes. So let's quickly take a look at what sold. And then, John. Going to be a busy Friday for me getting all of this stuff packed, guys. I went to bed with only a couple of orders. And then a whole mess came in overnight. And then so far this morning, I've had some more. Some of these don't have to go out until Monday, but we might as well, right? So I'm going to be busy, and this is going to take a minute. Let's go through them. I'll go through as quick as I can. We don't want it to go forever, but some nice sales here and some viewer sales, including this one, Yellowstone National Park. We sold a Yellowstone hat the other day. Just same, same pattern, just different colors. And we had a viewer come in, and as I said, make this purchase. And this is going to Bob. Bob said he used to work there with the park service. So that's super cool. He collects Yellowstone stuff and hasn't seen this one before. And I, I think it's a relatively rare hat as well. I have not seen it and we see a lot of Yellowstone stuff here. So Bob, thank you so much. And thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. I accepted an offer from Bob on this one of 14 bucks plus shipping. We've got a couple of jeans going out, pair of jeans. What is it? A couple of jeans, a couple pair of jeans. I don't know what the vernacular is, but these are silver. And these, I actually took an offer on these jeans of $15 plus shipping. They'd eventually moved for 20, but I figured let's just get them on out of here. Miss me jeans. These are pretty solid right here. When you pick these up, make sure that all the stuff is in them. A lot of times you'll see them in garage sales because, well, they lost one of these 
little deals here, one of the little rhinestones, whatever, they fall off and then they don't like them. They want to get rid of them. You got to double check when you pick them up because too often they're missing that stuff and then it's going to be a hard sell. But this one, they're all there and they sold for 20 bucks a plus shipping. Let's move that. Let's see. Here's a patch. It's got, I didn't use it, but Velcro on the back. Don't say Velcro on your listing. Glock Safe Action Pistols. This is just a little patch. And it sold on an offer that I sent out of $7.49 plus shipping. I think I paid a dollar for that. This guy, this is a cable cuff. Look at that. It's reusable. And so it's just to organize your cables. And I, I might have paid a dollar or two for this. I really don't remember. But it, not real high dollar. Still, $9.97 plus shipping. I'll take it. Here we got Star Wars. This is nothing fancy here, but I think I picked this up with a whole bunch of other DVDs and super easy to list. Star Wars does sell some of them for very good money. This one, not one of those good monies, but I knew it would eventually sell. $6.99 plus shipping. Speaking of Star Wars, he's coming up. This one just sold before we started recording, so it's sneaking its way in. The Evil Dead. I think this one was $1.99 plus shipping or $1.98, one of those. Um, this one, oh, easy there, bud. This one is sort of a sale. I, I sold this one a little while ago. This is The Exorcist on VHS, the version you've never seen. And it went to the wrong address. Well, I, it went to the address that was in the system, but the person moved. And so they sent me a message and said, hey, I realized I forgot to update my information on there. I still want to buy this. So what can we do? So I waited. It bounced back to me. It was undeliverable because they didn't have a forwarded address on there. And so it did come back. I told them, hey, when it gets back to me, I'll relist it and you can buy it again and I'll just refund your purchase price. That way they still pay for the shipping. They said they'd be willing to pay for the shipping. And so I sent them a message, said, hey, I got it back and it's going to get relisted. And they purchased it. So this morning I refunded them all of $1.99. So they've paid shipping on this thing twice, plus originally the $1.99. So we'll, we'll get that back out to them. Here we've got another Star Wars Hallmark cool little Yoda ornament. This one is going internationally. I told you on the last what sold that fourth quarter sales start early for international orders. And I'm seeing a lot of Christmas type stuff, gifts and that sort of thing going international right now over in, I think it's France, $27.95 euros on Yoda. Here we've got a Maglite. These things do sell if you can get them for cheap. They have different colors. Sometimes the different colors sell better. And I've noticed the longer they are, the more batteries they take. It seems like the more money you can get out of them. This one didn't sell for big money, but still $19 and I think 19 cents plus shipping. And these will fit just barely, I believe, in a padded flat rate envelope. Then we got over here, NBA Jam. Sega Genesis. It doesn't have the manual in it, just the box and the cartridge and it sat around for a little bit but that's because it didn't have the manual still eventually a nice little sale eight dollars and 99 cents plus shipping here's one that i picked up from uncle mark and aunt Lori's garage sale in north carolina harley davidson motorcycles cool skull on the front and uh kevin move back there on the back we've got saint augustine florida the oldest city in America, is that right? Got the classic lighthouse there. And there are some of these. St. Augustine it doesn't sell particularly well, but I didn't see any on there with the skull. And so if you see in the listing there, I highlighted that as my main photo is the Harley and the skull. And it's sold in just a couple of days. $18.85 plus shipping for that. Moving stuff over as we go here. Kevin Harvick scale die cast the looney tunes car when you find these loose they're generally not worth a ton but this was part of a bulk of buyout that i did and i thought you know what i'm listing some in the box let's just list them all together nascar people looking for some might see others and it's a cool car very easy to list these things and they're very easy to ship actually as well just wrap them in bubble and this one sold for 9.98 plus shipping we've got another viewer sale here i was trying to set Kevin where he wasn't going to just roll off my table. Get back there. All right. So very cool viewer sale here. And this stuff is going to Elizabeth, the nerdy picker. 
And we've got, this is the uh, Nirvana album, or the album cover, basically. It's Weird Al, Off the Deep End. So this one is going out to Elizabeth. Tomb Raider 2 is headed out. It doesn't have the art on the front, but uh, otherwise is good for the PlayStation. And then this is really cool, Space Wars. So we got Kirk and Spock back there, Superman. This is a cool cover. I like that. Look at that Cylon. So we got Battlestar Galactica going on over here. This is neat. So Space Wars going out as well. And then Elizabeth also picked up this one back here, Fleetwood Mac. Look at that. Black Magic Woman. That's a cool album. And she got these. All these. Remember, we picked these up at the uh, at the sale where I said, hey, don't judge a sale by its cover. There's a lot of Star Trek books. Now, they're not super high dollar. I bought them for a quarter a piece and lotted them up. And I just, they, there was something that I thought was cool and that was worth putting in a lot. So Elizabeth picked those up too. Weird Al, Fleetwood Mac, and the Star Trek lot. $49.82 plus shipping. And then Space Wars and Tomb Raider 2, $15.47 plus shipping. And Elizabeth, I'm going to see what I can do to help out on shipping there. Here we got a cool Star Wars t-shirt. Of course, Darth Vader, and it's like felt. It's it's kind of fuzzy. I don't know if we've ever described Darth as fuzzy before. But this one, I was actually going back and forth with the uh, the guy. I had it listed at $9.98 plus shipping, I believe. He sent me an offer of 6 I came back at 8 he came back at seven, so I went seven fifty, and he liked playing the game, so he went at seven twenty five, and I appreciated that, and I took it. I debated coming back at like seven thirty two, but I didn't want to press my luck. I thought he was having fun, but I didn't want to annoy him, so we went with that one seven and a quarter plus shipping. I think I paid a dollar for that. We've got going out to another viewer, Miss Jane. Picking up the Eddie Bauer plaid hat. This hat is super, super cool. And she also picked up one of our ducks. That This one, not a duck, right? I posted some not a ducks here a little bit ago. They came with my ducks. And I thought, you know what? They're duck adjacent. We're going to post them because they're cool little critters. I thought this was maybe a raccoon with the stripes on the tail. I don't know. But Jane got the hat and the not a duck. And she said, I have a duck problem. Help please. She's been picking up these ducks, and Jane, I sure appreciate you. The two of those together, $28.99 plus shipping. And then our other sale here, Two and a Half Men. I just picked this up, actually. This is season one through 12. It's the complete series. If you can find complete series on DVD, guys, it does quite well. And the bottom ones here, this one, this one, this one, and this one, the last four are all new and sealed. Most of these sold for in the neighborhood of when I comped them, I think it was like 50-ish dollars, sometimes free shipping. But because I had four of them that were still new, I did price it just a little bit higher and figured, let's see what happens. And it sold very quickly, actually. I was kind of surprised at how quickly. It, it went in about a day, day and a half. $61.74 plus media mail shipping. And then the other thing, we passed over it. I, I don't want to forget this thing. This is cool. Look at that, the reflection coming back and so my hand looks goofy. <laughs> this is uh, the Senex. This is an old highway sign. Uh, you might remember the sale when I picked up three of these. I have one left. It's a Hardy's sign, actually. And I think I paid 12 or $15 for this, something like that. And I took an offer on it. I think I could have gotten it a little bit higher, closer to $100, but I, I figured, why not? Let's move it out. I got an offer of 80 I countered. He came back at 85 and I decided to take it. So 85 bucks plus shipping for the Senex sign. So that's pretty cool. We actually, let's take a look. We have a couple other uh, ducks, and these are actually ducks. So let's go take a look at those real quick. Beverly picked up a trio of ducks. Check out Beverly's store. Cool stuff in there. See if there's something you might like. But we've got a little sailor duck and another sailing duck. And he obviously sails because he's got an eye patch, a little eye patch duck. And Beverly in, uh, she says, in landlocked Nebraska, she thinks it's funny. She's building her own little duck navy in Nebraska. So, Beverly, thank you so much for stopping in. 10% of all of the ducks that sell at a Mountain Man Treasure 
going to support the Gary Sinise Foundation. They do a lot of work to help wounded veterans with various projects, and also they build adaptive smart homes for veterans as well. So really cool organization. Very proud to be able to partner with them and help them out. So get your ducks. you got to get your ducks in a row if you're going to sell on eBay, especially in the fourth quarter, and support a really cool organization at the same time. All right, we're going to look at this thing. John, tell us about this. This is a World War II leather jacket. Very hard to find. Most of the time, you only find bomber jackets. You hardly ever find these long ones. This is all original. All original mole hair. Pockets are in good shape. And it's, it's soft. It's not cracked anywhere. Size 38, labeled. And this is World War II. Yep. So it's been hanging out in somebody's belt. closet for some years. That's that's crazy. And the belt's original and complete from there. Not some museum piece. Yeah. And so I gotta ask you what you paid for it. I bought it. <laughs> that's why. Sorry, ladies. I paid what they asked. Sure. But that's why we do this, right? It's a yep. it's a treasure hunt. And so, and that is, you've been doing this how long, John? 35, 40 years. And you know what you're looking for with this stuff, and you've never found one of those. My whole that, career, I haven't found one of these. That's how rare that thing is. Yep. And so the value on that, the estimation, who knows? Grand and up, could be as high as five. Pretty hard. It's a museum piece. It's not a... Right, so there's collectors out there that as soon as they see that, they're going to start drooling. Right. Even if I don't run it internationally, I will have a bunch of national buyers who will sell internationally for even more money. Yeah. That's wild, man. It's a pretty rare find. I'm, I'm glad you got it. Nope, I mean, you beat you me to it. it. Even I would have gone, oh, that looks cool you know and picked it up. But Beating you wasn't important. Watching somebody who thought they were a pro get beat being a dick. There you go. No, Don't beat your karma. We, we talked about that on a recent game. video. Of it's okay to get along. It's okay to help each other. John gave me a few things at this sale because he knows it's that's what fun. I'm looking for. But Once by picking it's over with, it's not fun anymore. Yeah. This was fun in that I found something, and I found something behind a guy who really thought he was good, and he didn't leave it for me. I leave stuff for people. He would have taken it if he didn't know it. John, you're the best, man. Great day. Everybody have fun. How about that? Right? I mean, ridiculous. I, I, and it was. It, it was it was a beautiful jacket. And uh, it was one of those that we got there, I don't know, 90 minutes after they opened. And it looked like it had been hit hard uh, by the time we got there. Uh, there was people walking out with boxes when uh, when we walked in, when he walked in and when I walked in. And so this was hit by people and they missed it. So there's always something out there. There are always things that somebody else walks by that you know about and you can pick up. There's plenty out there for all of us. And that means, well, like I said, last video, make a reseller friend today. Get along. Makes things more fun. Guys, I got to go. We'll see you.